Hi students, your teacher, Professor Metzger here. I hope you are well. I appreciate you taking the class and look forward to working with you this semester. This video will review the expectations, requirements, and grading criteria for the discussions. Each discussion in our class this semester is worth five points. You are being evaluated on two categories, each worth two and a half points. Overall, what I'm looking for you to do with the discussions this semester is I'm looking for you to follow the instructions, work on your college level and historical writing, improve your citation skills, and think for yourself. The first category we will review, again, is worth two and a half points, and it is the thesis, information literacy, and historical support. Please remember, you must satisfy all the following requirements for full credit, two and a half points on this category. The requirements are outlined right here and on the second slide for the thesis, information literacy, and historical support. You will need to answer the assignment's prompts or the central question posed by the assignment in no more than 500 words and in at least eight complete sentences. I encourage you to write at least two separate and indented paragraphs in the discussions. Each paragraph should be at least three complete sentences and organized under strong and logical topic and concluding sentences related to your main point or thesis you outline at the end of your introduction. No writing is perfect, but please do your best to limit typos, spelling, organizational, and or clarity errors to no more than three in each one of the discussions. Moreover, and since this is a history class, you will need to use historical evidence and dates to support your arguments in the discussions. For example, say you are evaluating the end of the American Civil War and Reconstruction. You will need to use a specific date to provide the reader with some context from the time period. For example, 1865 for the end of the American Civil War and the beginning of Reconstruction. We will use APA in-text citations in the discussions this semester. You will need to cite all historical information, any idea or concept that is not your own. One easy way to understand this is that when in doubt, cite it out. We can sing a brief song to help you remember. When in doubt, cite it out. When in doubt, cite it out. So again, if you are ever unsure, simply cite the information using APA in-text parenthetical citations. And please understand that the APA citations are different than MLA or Chicago. The APA in-text citations go at the end of the sentence, but before the period. And if you are using a direct quote from the book, please understand that the APA in-text citation goes after the quotation. For example, say you are citing the textbook, and then the page number is listed here at the end, say it's 1224, and then the period goes right here. So even if the period is inside the quotation, what you have to do is you have to take that period and put it all the way after the citation. And to earn full credit for this category, I'm looking for you to master and use correct APA and text citations on all the discussions this semester. It should go without saying, however, I'm gonna say it here and say it anyway. Please understand that you will receive a zero on the discussion, on any of the discussions, if you plagiarize from any source without citations. At the same time, you will receive a zero on the discussions in this class if you use AI-generated writing, including but not limited to ChatGPT, Grammarly, GPT-4, BARD, and other bots or generative artificial intelligence. You are highly capable, intelligent, and I'm really looking to see what you have to say and what your evaluation is on the topic and the material we will review this semester. There are some helpful links right here that give you how-to examples of APA in-text citations. At the same time, you can use the Writing Center 
and I encourage you to visit during student support hours and I can help you with citations and the writing process. Moving on, all the information listed on this slide is also part of the first category and it must be satisfied to earn that two and a half points. Since this is a history class, you must include at least two specific comparisons, like a quote, statistic, or example from the textbook, and you must cite each one of those examples for full credit on the first category, two and a half points. Moreover, the discussion should not include more than one quote per paragraph and be correctly copied or quoted from the textbook or other sources. One easy way to limit quotes is simply paraphrase, that means translate or put in your own words, the quote from the textbook or another source, just make sure you correctly cite it with APA in-text citations based on the information in those links on the previous slide. At the same time, please do not use any of these sources listed here, Wikipedia, History Channel, History.com, Quizlet, Encyclopedia.com, the list goes on and on. The main source for the discussions this semester should be the textbook. However, if you do want to use outside sources, you can use them, but you need at least two direct comparisons and citations from the book. You may want to review that Working with Historical Sources video to really review what accurate and legitimate historical sources are. These are not legitimate sources. And this link below is this video you are re watching right now, and I encourage you to watch it, possibly review the criteria before you submit the subsequent discussions. Lastly, we will take a look at the second category, communication. And this one is also worth two and a half points. Again, you must satisfy all the following requirements and criteria to earn those two and a half points you must provide at least three complete sentences on another discussion. And it should go without saying, but to count as a complete sentence, again, you are in college now, the first word needs to be capitalized, and a period is needed at the end of each sentence. Again, if these requirements are not met, you will not receive the two and a half points for this category. One thing to consider is that a substantive reply will respectfully point out the strengths and even the weaknesses of another student's discussion. There's nothing wrong with disagreeing. Please just remember to be respectful. Point out what they did well, some things they can work on, and possibly pose a question about their argument or some of the examples they used. Finally, please remember and understand any AI-generated replies will receive a zero on the assignment. If you need help, one important thing to learn when you're at this level of your education is how to collaborate and how to know when you need help. Therefore, again, I encourage you to contact me during student support hours, visit the Writing Center, and ensure that you have the resources and the support to succeed with these discussions and in our class. In review, we covered the expectations, the grading criteria, and the requirements for the discussions this semester. I look forward to reading your interpretation and analysis, and I hope you have a fantastic rest of the semester. Thank you so much.